Hello and welcome to the Tire Unite workshop tutorial series. In this first part, I'll show you how to convert an MDL file into a workshop item that we can use in game. So, as a prerequisite, download Blender, as well as Blender source tools, Crowbar, which is a nifty little decompiler tool to help us convert the MDL file into something we can use in Blender, and VTF edit, which will help us with our textures. All these links will be provided in the description. Once you have all of those installed, open up your source files, which should include all of these files in order for it to decompile correctly, and open up Crowbar, and browse for an MDL file. This is our MDL file right here. And make sure it's set to subfolder. And press decompile and watch the magic happen. It should decompile correctly and you'll have all of your files right here. This is the one you want right here. Now open up Blender and go to import and go down to source engine. If you do not see this, you haven't installed Blender source tools correctly. Now go ahead and browse for your prop. Here it is, sleeping bag reference. If you open it, you'll see it right here. It's a bit big, so we'll scale it down. Now that we have it in the editor, go over here to this context menu and open it up. And you'll see these three options here. This is the one we want. So select it and you will see this little button right here. This will be your materials. Select the material slot and go over to the next over, which is this little checkerboard box, and select one of the slots here and press new. This will be our texture for the item and what will be exported onto the model into the game. All right, now go ahead and go back to your source folder and open up your VTF file and export it. TGF file is just fine. Should see it pop up right there. Now go ahead and press open here. And you'll see that it showed up here in the texture folder. It is on the model. You could technically export it and it'd be just fine and work perfectly in game. I'll show you. Go ahead and export it as a DAE file. And go ahead and go to my imports, import an item, and go ahead and import the scene back. You see? And the reason why that is, is because if you go ahead and drag this across, and duplicate the windows, and you go down here and open the UV image editor, go ahead and press tab, and it'll switch to edit mode. Press this button here press B and you can select and drag and then press open and browse for your file. Now it should work if you go down here and select the viewport shading into texture. Now you'll see it works just fine. And it works just fine in game. You'll be able to upload it no problem. You can also select the metadata and adjust the scale, make a ridiculously big bed if you want to. Now one problem is the collision is automatically generated in Workshop version 1.0 and hopefully this will change in the future but for now you'll have a wonky collision. But thank you for watching the tutorial and stay tuned for more tutorials in the future.